Hi guys, Ryan here on behalf of Tech Force Media, and today we are here with the year to phone 2. Uh, we don't tend to cover many product releases on developer tech, so you know when we do, then it's got to be a pretty special device. Um, now what makes this uh, device different from any other is this always on e-ink display, uh, which you can see from my watch here, uh, I'm rather a fan of. Um, so the benefits of e-ink is of course the battery life, um, which allows it to be always on, and this means that you can keep uh, all your notifications, all your messages, and all your calls coming in on this display, uh, which is also great for readability and sunlight. Um, so you can interact with this screen. Um, it's a little bit laggy, uh, but it, it sort of depends on your usage scenario, really. I mean, here we have a, uh, a reader very similar to Kindle, so this kind of thing will be perfect to, you know, have a read at night or on the train without actually sucking your battery. Um, you're not going to be wanting to watch videos or that kind of thing on this display. For that, you can turn it over and use the full HD screen. Uh, so this is uh, very close to a stock Google experience. So I won't show you too much um, about this display, so you want to focus on what's unique. Um, but Yotaphone do have a SDK out for developers to make use of the back screen. So we can use an example of a very simple game here, so just checkers. If we play that, and as you see, it says application has been put on the back. So um, the screen automatically switched off on the other side to save battery there. So it's, it's very cool, and you can just play a normal checkers game or anything else that you want to create. So uh, this actually has a Snapdragon 800 processor, which it's not the latest on the market, but it's more than adequate. Um, it's, it's still very snappy, and I hope updates will come to this quite quick, being a close to Google uh, stock experience. Um, now, the back camera is a uh, 8 megapixel, so it's, it's not the greatest in the market, um, but it's more than adequate. I'll be putting some sample images in the review. Uh, the front camera is above industry standard, I'd say, for uh, for a camera of this caliber. Um, it's a 2.1 megapixel camera. And um, the design is very, very sleek, actually. It's uh, kind of a pebble-like design. Not in the smartwatch, but more the kind of one that you find on a beach. Uh, I would say that it's very pricey for what it is. Uh, so this in the UK is going for £555 at the moment, currently on the Yota store. Um, so I think that they could do with reducing the price of this handset, making it more towards the £200 mark, so it would make for a brilliant mid-range. Um, but I look forward to seeing what Yota do with the Yota Phone 3, and I think in a few years' time, this could well be my next device. But let us know what you think in the comments.